Welcome back. Uh, let's uh, concentrate on the deal street and the deal tracker segment for the day. And Grand Thought in Bharat, Prashant Mehra, is joining us with exclusive details on the findings of the report for the month of January. Prashant, always a pleasure to welcome you on CNBC TV 18. My first question, well, the uh, value of deals has really substantially dropped uh, in the month of January, not just compared to December, which could be a year-end transactions ending, but even compared on a YOI basis to January last year. What are the few important reasons for this and are macroeconomic factors really hurting the deal street already? Hi, thank you for having me back. Uh, when you're right, I think not just the values, but even the um, volume has declined. And, and that's uh, something that was, was kind of expected. Uh, I'm not too sure if comparing it to either December, as you rightly mentioned, or for that matter, even January of 2022 is an apple to apple comparison because January of 2022, we were still coming out of the pandemic and it could be a lag uh, effect of the pandemic. Um, having said that, uh, you know, what the encouraging factors are that there are some um, deals in new sectors, the infrastructure sector, especially. Um, one reason why the values are also low is because in this period, we haven't seen really any big ticket transactions as we saw uh, in the same period last year. Um, uh, now that the budget is out, um, uh, we, we're hoping and it's a very forward looking budget uh, with special thrust on infrastructure, which is a continuing uh, flavor for the government. Um, and having seen energy and natural resource transactions already being demonstrated in January. Uh, the next few months are, are hopeful. I, I think the tide would turn somewhere in April. All right, tide would turn uh, somewhere in April. Can you highlight more on the specifics from the budget, which is positively impacting the infrastructure deals and energy and renewable energy anyways has been the flavor of the season for last one and a half? Years. So what else in infrastructure is seeing an uptick and what are we here to see in the next few months in terms of transactions and even fund play? Uh, I think a couple of things, you know, one, the government's continued investments into the infrastructure sector uh, demonstrates that uh, uh, this, this is here to stay. Uh, any investment in the infrastructure sector has both a socio-economic impact uh, because not only creates employment, but also improves supply chain logistics. Uh, in turn, it gives uh, incentives to other players, whether it's the FMCG sector or anything, or the infrastructure sector also, to invest more uh, and play with the growing demand. Um, given the uh, tepid <clears throat> environment outside of the country, especially in the West, uh, we would would see a lot of foreign fund play here as well, both in direct infrastructure as well as allied uh, industries such as energy and manufacturing. Right. Um, and I think all that will unravel in the next couple of months, uh, right. which is why from April onwards, we could probably see some deals coming through. All right. Uh, and Prashant, we can just hope that REIT in with uh, change in taxation, which is still under discussion with the ministry, is raw, not really putting a dampener on the infrastructure deals that you're talking about. But what about uh, the private equity players? They have done bulk of the transaction done in Jan. The larger amount has really come in only from the private equity space through uh, some bulky transactions. Now, um, how are they poised? And with the valuations really dropping at this point, are they on a wait and watch mode? What are you gathering from the private equity fund um, spending as well as acquisition and buyouts? Uh I think private equity, if you look at the volumes, it's not really declined as much. But as you rightly mentioned, the value is declining. And that's because of uh, a valuation correction. Um, we were expecting that to happen and would probably happen a bit more. Uh, I think where the large private equity transactions will be seen is in terms of domestic uh, funding, domestic consolidation, since uh, uh, acquisition financing is still not uh, allowed in the country uh, by the bank. So private equity will be looked at as an alternate means of investment and whether it's the manufacturing sector or the larger FMCG sector, the logistics sector, the larger infrastructure and technology sector, we will see a lot of private activity there. Um, and I would say that a lot of dollars of private equity will probably be focused towards that. 
All right, one well, very important point made by you, Prashant, and biggest takeaway is that private equity is going to really participate in acquisition funding. But we are hoping that IFSC giving that thrust to the banks to uh, you know finance acquisitions will in some years will play a big role um, in this particular space as well. Always a pleasure speaking to you. Thank you so much for joining us. So that's uh, a wrap on Deal Tracker for today. But uh, after a short break, come back for more news and updates and market action.